Well, tonight, a major snag in the effort to legalize recreational marijuana in New Jersey. This morning, lawmakers abruptly canceled the vote after it became clear they didn't have enough support for it. The move has been a central pledge for Governor Murphy, but tonight, the movement looks very much in doubt. Here's New Jersey reporter Tony Yates. It was far from what the hopefuls had hoped for. I'm disappointed. I think we were making headway. One question was asked to me, will we have the votes today? And the answer that I gave is we should. Uh, and I think that we will. Knowing they did not have the votes to welcome New Jersey into the age of legal recreational adult use marijuana, Senate President Steve Sweeney got word to assembly leaders, so neither chamber took it to a vote. You have some people that are just absolutely opposed to the legalization of adult use marijuana. The victory this Monday lies in the laps of opponents who say the state is far from ready for legal weed and that the bill itself was half-baked. Concerns about drugged driving, because we've seen increase in drugged driving in other states. Uh, it would allow 99% potent edibles, gummy bears, cookies, ice cream, candy. I would work for decriminalization. Both for some 30 years ago. We'd do it again, but not recreation. Governor Phil Murphy and the bill's supporters fought hard to sway lawmakers. History is rarely made at the first attempt. History is often a bumpy road of fits and starts of progress and of setbacks. It was not nearly enough. The effort failed and young men like DJ put on were not happy to see this. The legislation would have also secured expungements for low level offenders charged with marijuana crimes. I have a studio I create in Trent, New Jersey. A lot of the young professionals that are coming in there, they have these charges that are petty and they can't get jobs. Supporters say their hopes are not dead, that today's non-action simply means they have more work to do.